Through you, Chair. Permission is sought for a first floor extension, effectively resulting in this single story bungalow being changed into a two story dwelling. The footprint of the dwelling remains the same. The original plans have also been amended to alter the new first floor windows on the west facing, west facing elevation. These windows have now been significantly reduced, still providing reasonable outlook to the host property but minimising any potential for overlooking to adjacent properties. The provision of obscure glazing to non-habitable rooms at first floor are also proposed, and additionally, secondary windows to the new bedrooms will also be obscurely glazed to prevent overlooking. Outlooking to the bedrooms would not be adversely affected, though, as additional windows achieve outlook. Having regard to the amendments secured, the relationship between the application site and adjoining properties and the distances achieved, the proposal is considered acceptable. The application is presented to the committee tonight due to it being removed from delegation by a ward councillor. There is no qualify, qualifying petition for objection and the application is recommended for approval. Okay, are there any observations or comments from the committee? Item is item 10 on page 41. Can I have a presentation, please? Uh, thank you, through you, Chair. The proposal seeks permission for a first floor side extension and pitched sloping roof above the front porch. The property is semi detached and sits some three metres forward of the adjacent property at number 189. A single story wraparound side extension exists, and the first floor extension would be built on top of this, set back in line with the first floor elevation with a lower ridge height. The extension is not considered to adversely impact on neighbouring properties by virtue of any loss of privacy or light. Although a single objection has been raised in this regard, an assessment has been made having regard to the positions of the windows on the neighbouring property and their relationship with the proposed extension, and it's been concluded that the extension would not have any adverse impact uh, on that adjacent property. The application is presented to committee tonight because the agents are SDA and one objection has been received. Okay, any committee that I need to Okay, thank you. Next item is agenda item 11 on page 45, which is details of 
qualifying petition for. Um, do, we, do we have anybody who would like to speak to the Okay, we're just going to have a presentation first and we can speak for five minutes. Uh, thank you to you, Chair. Commission is sought for two first floor extensions which will result in an increase of four bedrooms. An earlier application was withdrawn and this application is a resubmission of those proposals now having been reduced in scale. The premises are currently used as a residential nursing home. The other properties in the area are all residential dwellings. The westerly extension to the rear will project out an additional five metres from the existing elevation. The easterly extension will project by 4.4 metres. The extensions maintain distances of 40 metres from the rear elevations of properties on Lingdale Road and are set some 3.5 metres from the boundaries of adjacent properties on Riversdale Road. These properties on Riversdale Road are themselves set some three metres off the shared boundary. It's not considered that the proposals give rise to any increase in overlooking or overshadowing, and it is not considered that the provision of four additional bedrooms amounts to overdevelopment of the site. The proposed development is considered to be acceptable and is recommended for approval, and there is a qualifying petition rejection. Okay, with the petition, Does the silver button on your microphone now if you press that and you can your name? Hi, um, my name is Stephen Hope. Um, I live at number 12 Riversdale Road and um, thank you very much for allowing me to speak to you tonight. I'm representing myself but also the 26 petitioners who uh, are urging you to refuse this proposal. Um, you have up to five minutes. Um, the objections are mainly to do with overdevelopment of the site. Um, and overshadowing of neighbouring properties, but there are also issues of parking, traffic, and overlooking as well. Um, the property was originally two semi-detached houses and were two six-bedroom properties. It is currently a 28-bedroom property, and the current proposal intends to increase that to 32 bedrooms. So I think you can see that already it has been substantially extended to the front to both sides and to the rear. And if I can call your attention to page 46 in your documents, you can see that there are, you can see the several applications for extensions that have begun over the years. By my work calculations, and if you look at the diagram up there, you can see that the footprint of the property is roughly twice what it was originally, or maybe slightly out on that. Um, and the director themselves, um, in, on page 47, your documents have said that the footprint is um, considered to be just within the acceptable limits of being appropriate to the plot. Now given that the footprint is just within acceptable limits, the proposal has decided to extend upwards. And we and myself on the other petitions feel that this is overdevelopment of the property. Um, as uh, Mr. Perry Davis had just commented, there was a proposal that was withdrawn earlier on this year, um, which also didn't increase the footprint, but did increase the floor space inside. Um, on the subject of overshadowing, um, some of the information you've got in your document is incorrect. It does in fact say in your document that um, mine and my wife's property at number 12 Riversdale Road is set back, the main part of the property is set five metres from the boundary, It is actually two and a half metres from the boundary. I'm not sure whether that um, means that you can't um, propose, uh, propose this, this uh, application because of the incorrect uh, information there. But we feel that it would overshadow our property. The um, proposed extensions, as you can see, are to the east and west of the rear of the property, which means they have more impact on the neighbours rather than if the extension was done in the centre of the property, any overshadowing would be on the nursing home itself rather than affecting neighbours. They're the main objections, but there are other issues of extra parking in a busy street, extra traffic and deliveries uh, in a busy street, and overlooking. And I think taking all those things together, and the fact that uh, your own officers have said this is um, 
pushing the boundaries already. Um, I would hopefully um, expect you to refuse this proposal. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Councillor Bailey, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'm just happy to clarification in terms of the separation distance. There's certain documents you're looking at say, uh, before the back of the car, we need to check that out on the other way. The gentleman's just mentioned that there is the 2.5 meters. There's something in the car, but there's no post-distance. 3D, Chair. Um, I, I did clarify that separation distance was 2.5 meters. Um, I think it's important to So, agenda item 12, um, the guidance that's 
Thank you, Chair. On page 80, which is the Greater Mills Primary School, it was only two meetings ago that we refused it. I'm glad to say both, both sides have sat down and got it right. It would be a great help to us if, you, if people could speak to each other before they actually bring into planning commission. Because I'm led to believe that the bricks were moved around a little bit and the agreement on both sides. And I, couldn't, I can't understand it why they didn't do it before they arrived here. Thank you very much. 